Hey, good evening, Nick. What, what did you see happen in the third quarter that kind of let them guys back in the game and kind of change the face of the game, actually? Uh, yeah, I mean, that was a, a big turnaround. And, uh, no, we had a good start to start the, the third, and then your energy switched up. You know, they start making big shots, and we're not really aggressive on pick and roll defense anymore. So, and, uh, yeah, they make, like, they open their bench and got make shots and make plays. So, I mean, we try to stay in the game anyway, but... Like, I think we're like three, four minutes on. We didn't do anything. We stopped moving the ball, no fence, and they make big plays. How do you keep, how do you maintain that energy that you, you said the energy switched up? How do you maintain that energy uh, moving forward? I mean, we usually do it because we're pretty good in the third quarter anyway. So, I mean, mm-hmm. we, I think we showed that the last couple of games, like, the third quarter is our quarter, pretty much. So, it happened tonight, wasn't, didn't go away. So, got to get back to it next game. All right, thank you, Nick. Yeah, Good. thanks, thanks, Cam. Uh, sorry if I butcher your name, Jacopo. Yeah, thank you. Hi, Nick. And I uh, wanted to ask you: uh, after one quarter of season, how are you feeling about a new system, a totally new situation, and uh, how are you progressing? You know, when you you get to a new team like that, we got a high expectation. And you have a short training camp. We got only three preseason games. It's not easy. So we have to really get focused to get to know the new guys, a new coach, new system. So, you know, I got a chance to have good coaching staff, a great teammates. So we really welcome in this team. And, and it was really pretty easy for me to fit in. So, so good so far. Thank you. Thanks. We have time for one more. We've got Andrew Gray. Hey, Nick. Um... From the outside, you know, with PG, considering how much playmaking he'd done this year, it seems like there's a quite a gap that has to be made up for compensated um, in his absence, however long he's out. Do you see it that way, though? Or do you feel like you guys can spread it out fairly evenly about what he was doing? I, how much of a challenge is it, I guess, to compensate for what he brought? I mean, we have to do it. <laughs> we have to do it to find a way to do it. You know, he's one of the top five, top ten guys so far in this league, so he's playing amazing. You know, he's on the MVP discussion right now for sure. So, you know, when you miss a guy like that, you better got to step up you know, and make plays. You know, we he averaged like 25 or 23 or 25 and five or six assists. He's doing big, big job. I mean, he creates so much space. He had, he had so much attention around him. So, you know, defense doing a great job as well. So, like, we all got to step up and find a way to do something when he's out.